morning everyone Savannah here happy May Day it's May 1st today and it's time for another floss tube video um, did I already say my name probably did doesn't matter I don't know <laughs> it's it's been it's been a week guys it's been a week um, as much as I would really like to tell you everything that happened it's probably best that I don't um, so I'll try to paraphrase it as best as I can. This is a very new situation for me. Uh, Tuesday morning, a very, very tragic event happened at my neighbor's house right across the street. And I wasn't a witness per se to the actual event, but I ended up being there after the fact. Um, you know, enough so that I had was questioned and you know it was just there's lots of cup cars the yellow caution tape and forensic crew it was it was a day um and it really sucked yesterday it really messed with my mental like I think the shock of it all wore off yesterday and I just I had a bad day yesterday where I just I couldn't process it very well. Um, it was really sad. Um, I didn't know her. Everybody who did said she was such a nice person, and that just that makes it even worse. Just because I never got to meet her, even though she was living there for almost three years, she just kept to herself so much. Um, anyways, so that happened. It's very surreal considering all the stuff that you know it, that it entails it's just crazy um maybe one day in the future i can talk about it you know it's still very fresh um so i don't think it's possible or probably the most appropriate thing to talk about but maybe in the future it's something that i can i can let you guys know um anyways so i'm just going to leave it at that because again i don't want to give too many details right now um, so we'll talk about my stitching. We'll we'll try to <clears throat> we'll try to liven this up just a little bit. Okay, guys, you probably already got the intro part and a little bit. I didn't want to refilm all that because maybe I said it right the first time. I don't know. Anyways, I realized that I could have just brightened my screen to make everything brighter and so hopefully this works better this time you can see my cross stitch a little bit better yeah I got all the way to the end of the video and realized that I could have just brightened it all up <laughs> oh so here we go again I'm just luckily it's only a couple pieces so I'm going to show you my finishes for April real quick that's first so I finished my first or my last two um what are these called there's a square dance by Heart and Hand. So April came in this pack too, but I finished that one prior. Um, and I just finished up May and June. I actually fully finished them yesterday. You can tell this one's a little crooked, which kind of sucks. It looks more crooked in the camera than it does in person, though, for some weird reason. But yeah, those are that. I've got to wait for the next part for... July, August, September to get in stock. It's sold out. So I have to wait for that before I can buy that. Anyways, next mini finish was my April block for Wonders of Space Sal by the Climbing Goat Design. She's on Etsy. So here's the full piece. And then April's block was the Crab Nebula. Yep. Took a couple extra days to do that one just because I was busy doing other things. Who knows? Um, oops, let me just put that back in here. That's on a 28 count Monaco, if that's correct. 28 count Monaco. Um, okay, now my whips. Oh, kids. Go outside, children. I'm almost done. Okay, get a snack and go outside, okay? 
Okay. So, is this an effect order? I think so. Okay. So my next one is called Cosmonaut. It's from mybobbin.com, a PDF. And let me just show you what I have here. Oh yeah, the lighting is 10 times better. So I had just the knee area and a little bit of stitches around that when I picked this up um, in April. And I completed most of that. So all the background is half stitches and then just the, the astronaut, cosmonaut, he is full stitches. And this pattern was, so the pattern key was a bit tricky. Um, I was able to translate all the stuff, but then I noticed that this section right here, there was no DMC colors and I freaked out for a few minutes and was able to talk to someone who was able to get a hold of this designer just to confirm what she thought, but like I didn't even realize because my printer printed it off bad, but there's matching symbols. Like there's duplicate symbols because I guess in Russia, Ukraine area, that place, they don't have an equivalent to some of the DMCs, so they had to make a blend. Um, but I didn't have to use that blend and I didn't realize. And luckily it got all sorted out and now when I do pick it back up one day, I will be able to easily stitch that. Next was One Nation by oh, Bygone Stitches. I'm stitching this on a 28 count One Nation. A 28 count even weave. I don't know exactly what kind um, that I coffee tea dyed myself. Let's get that out of here again. This out of here. So this is where I'm at. Let's go on this side maybe. Um, so all I had was this little corner done with that star. That's all I had and so I added all the blue, the extra star, and then I wanted to see what the words would look like, well, especially the red. Um, when I did start... So I'm using the call for red and blue and then I'm just using the ecru, which is the DMC equivalent for the stars. When I went to do Georgia, um, the ecru blended in almost exactly with my fabric. At least when I had my bright light on it, um, it completely blended in. So I decided to try a 3865, which works a little bit better, um, but my stars are still ecru. I was a little worried at first, but now that I'm looking at it in the camera, they don't look that different. Um, and then when I don't have that bright light on it when I'm stitching, it's not terrible. They don't look that off. So I think I'm just going to do all the stars in Ecru and then I'll do all the words in 3865. That is that one. See, I'm going through this much faster this time, which is kind of nice. Um, after that, I did, my next whip was my Ice and Fire by Maria Bravko. Oh, I forgot to tell you about a different finish. I'll have to do that at the end. I knew I skipped something. So this is what I have in a week. So let me fold this over so I can kind of see. When I picked this up, all I had was these these colors down here, these half stitches for the background. And I decided to move up so that I could see their faces. And I really like them. Lots of blends, but it really, really pays off. She doesn't have lips yet. Um, I just haven't added those in. But you can kind of see, you know, where their eyelashes are and stuff like that. And you can see he's got a mustache and some stubble. Yep, this is um, a 32 count Belfast that I dyed myself. I don't know why I felt like I needed to dye it, but I did, and I did. Okay, my last full week whip 
because I'm still working on the one that carried over, is um, A Savior's Praise by Shakespeare's Peddler. I am selling this with Sunshine Hev here on Floss Tube. We started this back in November. Well, I did. She did for a little bit, but I think she is changing her fabric out. This is where I'm at. When I picked it up, I had just this top section mostly complete. There was a few things I needed to go in and add, but then I added the rest of the stuff. I was kind of hoping that I could have gotten this whole page finished um, in one week, and I probably could have, but I did procrastinate quite a bit. I just would would start later than I normally would for cross-stitching. This is one over one as well because I'm just crazy. <sighs> okay, um, that last finish, it's just a, I'm going to put it up on the screen because I've already gifted it, but I made this for my friend Jen. You know her as Jen Crafts on FlossTube and Instagram, and she's also Spectacular Yarns. So she's been so sweet to me. Um, we actually get to physically meet, um, well, we did before everything happened. We would meet twice or once every two weeks and just hang out and knit together. And it was really nice to be able to do that. And I miss it. And I miss her. And so I wanted to make her a gift because I appreciate all that she's, she's dyed me so much yarn. She's, you know, bags. She's been so sweet. So I found this pattern. It's called Knitter Sampler by October House Fiber Arts. Um, and originally it's called for pinks and I knew Jen's colors were blue. So I traded out the colors for, I did Oatmeal by Gentle Art, um, Mermaid's Fin by Classic Color Work, Deep Blue Sea by Classic Color Work, and Frosted Sage by Classic Color Work as well. They're up here on my I should pull them down, huh? To show you guys. Ugh, sorry. They're almost completely, well, mermaid's fin is almost completely depleted. But then those are the four, the four colors that I used for her because I knew that these were her colors. And I worked pretty hard on it for the last, it took me six days to stitch up. I stitched it on 32 count Belfast in antique ivory, I believe. Um, what else about it? Yeah, I spent, like, I would work on it during the day, so I got no knitting done those six days. Um, but it was worth it to get that done. I can't wait to knit or er, stitch mine up. I just don't know what colors I'm going to use yet. Um, but I made that for her, framed it, and I gifted it to her yesterday. She loves it so much, so that works. Um, a quick little haul, but not a haul. Um, I won a giveaway from Michelle Bendy, and I didn't even know it until it showed up. Uh, supposedly the original winner... <clears throat> had already purchased the pattern and so I was next and this was such a nice surprise yesterday in the mail. It's the Rainbow Kitty. This is uh, I believe Kitty and Me. Yeah, Kitty and Me Design by Pamela Kellogg. You can find these on Etsy. But yeah, isn't that cute? And it's not very big so And with color blocking, I think this would be fun and relatively quick, but not, you know, like not quick, quick, but quick enough. Oops. <laughs> Lots of colors, though. Lots of colors. Maybe, I'm not sure when I'm going to start that, but maybe soon if I'm lucky. <laughs> um, no mania plans here. I want it. I would love to, but because of the way that I am working through my whips, um, my they go until the end of, or not the end of, the, my whip list puts me out until the second week of June. So that means I have to miss Mania. Um, I really wanted to participate in the 
Martina mania that A Stitch Too Far Ingeborg proposed. You know, I have two Chatelaines that could really use some love and that would have been fun. Um, I also have a bunch of smaller patterns that I'd love to start because they've been sitting in my stash for over a year. But we'll see what I plan to do. It's not going to be any official mania for me, though. Uh, hopefully next year. We'll see. Um, that's it, guys. I don't have anything else to talk to you about. So have a wonderful May. Bye.